started standing today, so make sure you have your Pilates ring in your hands and a resistance band close by. Stand tall on both feet, distribute your weight evenly from toe to heel, from left to right. Relax your shoulders and as you inhale, breathe the arms up above the head. Exhale, bring them back down in front of you. Inhale, lift the arms, holding the ring up overhead. Exhale, bring them back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Really developing that connection between your breath and your movement. This time, inhale up and exhale, lean to the side, opening up your side. Inhale, center, and exhale the ring down in front of you. Inhale, ring up, arms up. Exhale, lean to the side, reach the ring away from you. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale to the side. Just going as far as it's comfortable for you right now. Inhale, center, exhale, down. Good, again, switching sides each time, using the deep breaths, feeling how those breaths help you move your body. We're going to take care to use the breath throughout the workout today. Good, exhale that down and then step to the front of the mat if you're not already. We're going to inhale the ring back up above the head and exhale, keeping your back flat, bend your knees a little bit and fold forward, forward fold. Inhale, sit down like to a chair pose, bringing the ring up in front of you. Inhale, straighten the legs, ring and arms down. Inhale, flat back, stand all the way up, ring above the head. Exhale, flat back, dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, sit low, bringing the ring up in front of your shoulders. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold forward. Inhale, flat back, all the way up to standing. Exhale, dive forward, flat back. Inhale, sit low, reach the ring up in front of you, and we'll hold it right there. Settling in as low as you comfortably can, breathing all the while, and then exhale, release to the floor. Holding in the forward fold, then release the ring and bring your hands to the floor so you can kneel down, placing your knees below your hips, your wrists below your shoulders. And we will move through a cat stretch here to open up the back. So inhale, arch the back, and exhale, round the back. Keep going in time to your breathing. Inhale to arch, exhale to round. And now really start to focus on when you exhale, you're really squeezing your belly button toward your spine. You're really drawing your attention and your strength right there to the center of your body. And we're going to think about that as we work as well, so that we always have a really strong foundation for all of our exercises, so that we're really engaging through the core. Good, find your way back to a neutral spine. Grab the ring and we will get going. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm now. If you need another couple minutes, feel free to pause the video, get a little warmer, and then join me again. We're going to bring the ring between the ankles. Make sure you grab your band as well, and we're going to wrap the band around the feet. If you've done the advanced basics workout, you're familiar with this. We're holding the ends of the band in both hands, chin to the chest, shoulders up, legs straight, a little squeeze on that ring, and then we're going to pulse the arms by the side. So you're inhaling for five pulses and exhaling for five. Your low back is staying connected to the mat. The belly button is pressing down. Keeping control of the movement of your arms. So it's, it's tempting with the band to kind of want to spring your arms back up, but keep that under control. If you feel your back arching, bring your legs up above your hips, up higher. Good. Keep squeezing. Keep focusing. Good. Relax the head down. Bend the knees. You can take the band away. Set it aside for now. Grab the ring. 
We'll straighten our legs out on the floor. Take the ring in both hands and lift it up above our heads. We're going to take it overhead. And as we bring our arms over our face and forward, we're going to squeeze the belly button to the spine and roll up the spine with control, sitting tall and then exhaling to reach forward over the legs. Inhale up tall again, flat back, lift the arms if you'd like, and then roll down, tucking the tailbone, setting your vertebra down one at a time, reaching the ring overhead. Good, inhale, start to lift, peeling your spine off the floor with control, sitting tall, and then exhale, reach straight forward. Inhale tall, and exhale, roll back down. Again, inhale, peel off the floor, keeping the control. You might get stuck. That's okay. Just keep pulling from that place. Good. Exhale as you reach over the legs. Inhale tall. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, start to lift. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze through that tight, difficult place. And then exhale, reach. Inhale tall. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, peel it up. Sit tall. Exhale, reach. Good. And then go ahead and bring the ring down to your feet and just fold over your legs, deepening that stretch for a moment. Grab the ring, sit up tall again. We're going to bring, bring the ring into both hands and we're going to squeeze the ring when it's near our chest. You're going to want the band for this. So wrap it around your feet, holding the ends of the band in each hand and the ring. So you can kind of wrap the band around the ring if you want, if it helps you hold on. So again, when the ring is near your chest, you're going to put a little squeeze on it. And as we inhale, we're pressing it away from the chest. Exhale, pulling it in. Inhale, press it away. Exhale, pull it in. Squeeze. Inhale away. Right out at shoulder level. Exhale, squeeze. Elbows tight by your side, by your rib cage. Inhale and exhale. Good. A few more like that. Make sure you have plenty of tension in your band. You get to make this harder if you want to make it harder by holding your band up a little bit higher, farther away from the ends. Check that you're sitting nice and tall, shoulders are staying away from your ears. Making each repetition count. Good, hold it in there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And now squeeze and release the band, or the ring, excuse me. So you're holding the ring there in front of you and just squeezing, letting it go. Squeezing, letting it go. Good. Keeping the elbows in. And relax. Setting the band aside, we'll roll over our legs, coming into a plank position so that we can lower down to the floor, resting on our bellies, bringing the ring into our hands right under our faces. So as we inhale, we're going to lift the legs and the upper body. As we exhale, we're going to press the ring forward. Inhale it back under the face and exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend the arms. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, down. Good. Keep going with your breath. Each time you lift, you're lifting as high as you can. Get as much out of this as you can. Ask that of your body to give its best. I know that's different every day, but whatever you've got today, that's what we're going to use. Good, we're going to do a few more, so keep that focus, keep your good form. You make this more challenging by squeezing your legs tight together, lifting higher, slowing down that reach, that movement if you want. Good. 
Extend, keep breathing. And relax, nice work. You can set one side of your face down on the floor. And then the other side of your face, keeping things even. Good, bring the hands back under the shoulders, curl your toes under, press up using that tricep strength through your plank. And then let's come to a downward dog. It just feels good, opening up the back of the legs and the back, the shoulders. And then we'll step forward with both feet, coming back to that forward fold. Then we'll grab the band. Give yourself some space on the mat. You're going to step on the band with both feet, making sure you get it anchored to the floor. And then you're going to place your feet a little wider than your hips, pointing the toes out toward the corners a bit. You're going to pull the band up to your hip level, keeping the band really taut. So again, if you did the advanced basics workout, you're familiar with this exercise as well. So holding the band here, making sure there's tension in the band, you're going to sit down to that squat while you press your hands forward. Inhale, stand up tall, pull the band in. Exhale, sit low, press the hands forward. Inhale, stand up. Again, exhale, sit down and back. Inhale, tall. Keep going. Remember that you want your knees moving in the direction of your toes but not extending beyond your toes. So to help with that, we focus on keeping our weight in our heels, really sitting back and down. Remember when you pull those arms in, the elbows are right by your side, coming into place. Good, relax, finish that last one strong. Hang on to the band, but also grab your ring. We're going to step on the band now with one foot or both feet, but we're going to bring the band into the right hand, so make sure the band is at least under your, your right foot. The ring is in both hands, and you're holding the band against the ring on that right side. Lifting the band up, your hands up, to at about shoulder level. Elbows are right in by your side. In this position, we're going to put a little squeeze on the ring if you want, and then you're going to press the ring overhead and slightly forward. Inhale, pull it down. Exhale, press it up. So you've got that little extra resistance on your right side with the band. Don't worry, we're switching sides. We'll get them both. Good, keep breathing. Exhale up, inhale down. Tuck your elbows right in by your sides. Again, you're pressing the ring just a little bit in front of you so it's not coming right up over your head. Make sure you're standing tall. You've got weight in both feet. Good, and we'll switch sides, same thing. So now holding the band in the left hand, making sure you get it anchored to the floor under your left foot at least, and then bringing your weight into both feet evenly. Holding the band against the ring, bringing the hands to shoulder level, or just there at your armpit. Standing tall, exhaling as you press it up. Inhaling as you bring it down. Let your knees just unlock here. Make sure they're not locked out. Good. Remember to make it more challenging by squeezing the ring as you bring it down toward your chest. It's much harder to squeeze there and a little uncomfortable to squeeze when it's extended, but you can put a little pressure there and that's going to make it harder yet. Good. 
Good, relax. Go ahead and set your band aside. We're going to come into some lunges, so let's bring the ring into both hands. Find your balance. As we inhale, we're going to bring the left knee up as we bring the arms overhead. Exhale, step back with that left knee and lower it toward the floor, arms in front of you. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center and then step forward, lifting the left knee up as the arms go overhead. Exhale, step back, bending the left knee, twist to the right, bring it back to center and then step forward, lifting the left knee as you lift the arms. Step back, bend the left knee, twist to the right, back to center, press into that right foot strong as you come up, holding the left knee up. Good, step back as you exhale, bending that left knee, twisting to the right, coming back through the center and up. Good, step it back, bending the left knee, twist, back to center, strong in the right foot to lift up, knee comes up. Good, step back. Find that balance first. Don't get in a hurry to do the twist. Make sure you've got your firm foundation, that your feet are planted, that you feel stable and strong. And when you do, then move into the twist. Very good. Almost there on this side, and then we'll get the other side. Focus on that form. Good, hold the knee up this time as you finish. Pause, find your balance, keep breathing, and then let the left foot come to the floor as you bring the ring down. Same thing, other side. Strong in your left foot, anchored against the floor. We'll inhale the ring above the head as we lift the right knee. Step back, bending the right knee, finding your strong lunge position, then twist to the left, step up. Right knee is up. Step back, right toes to the ground, let the right knee bend, twist to the left, come back to center and stand, right knee up. Good, step back, twist, center. Strong in the left leg to lift, standing up again. Good, keep going. Focus on the form, that's the most important thing first. We can always work on making it more challenging after we get the form down. So if you need to take out the twist for right now, you can do that as well. Good breathing, lifting that right leg now and holding in that balancing position. We'll exhale to bring the foot to the floor and the arms down. Take a deep breath up again, reaching the arms up, both feet on the floor, and exhale, dive forward, keeping your back flat. You can set the ring down and just get a nice deep stretch there, letting go of the weight of your head and your shoulders. Then place the hands on the floor, bending your knees and taking that big step back to a plank position. Bring your knees down and grab your band. We're going to move on to a tricep push-up, and the band is going to give us a little more resistance here. So if you don't want that extra resistance, that's fine. I know that tricep push-ups are challenging enough sometimes. But if you want it, bring it behind your back and get it up high on your back against your shoulder blades. Make sure there's tension in the band, plenty of tension, and bring the band under your palms on the floor. We're going to do a kneeling version, but feel free to rise up on the toes and do a full push-up here. Keeping the belly button lifted into the spine. You're going to keep your elbows by your side as you exhale, lower down, and inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down, inhale, press up. Exhale, lower down, inhale, press up. Good, keep going, just a few more. We're not letting the belly touch down if we can help it. We're keeping that strong plank position. Even if you're not going this low, that's okay, as long as you're keeping your elbows by your side. Don't let them sneak out.
Good. Relax. Walk your hands towards your knees and settle down into a child's pose for a couple of moments. You can let the band go. Set it aside. We'll roll back up and come down onto our left side. We're going to bring the ring into our right hand, resting down on our left elbow. Legs are straight if we can. We're going to lift up into an elbow plank, side plank. With the ring against the hip, keeping the hips where they are, you're going to squeeze the ring and then let it go slowly. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Good. Holding that strong plank position. Making sure you're breathing deeply. It's tempting to hold the breath when we start focusing too hard, so remember to keep that air flowing. Always squeezing as tightly as you can. You're in control of how difficult this becomes or how challenging this becomes, difficult in a good way. You make it harder by squeezing harder. Good, keep those hips lifted high and then gently lower to the floor. Bend your knees, holding the ring in the right hand against the floor. Lift your left arm up and over, just stretching out that left side. Good. Come back down onto your left hand. We're going to bring the ring now between the ankles. Rest all the way down on your left arm. You can rest the head in the hand or the head on the bicep. Right hand on the floor for balance or on your hip if you want a little extra challenge or behind your head. From there, we're going to lift both legs up and lower them down. Lift and lower. If you want to squeeze the ring while you're doing this, feel free. Nice, slow movement. It's not a big movement, but it doesn't have to be. There's a lot of work to be done here. Keep it under control. Good, lift and hold, breathing, then let it go. Let's switch sides. Lie down on your right elbow, placing the elbow below the shoulder. Legs are straight, ring is in the left hand, resting against the hip or the leg. Lifting up to that elbow side plank. When you have your strong base, start to squeeze the ring and let it go. You're pressing down against the ring, but the hips aren't moving. They are staying in place for you. Couple more. We're almost there. Remember to breathe. Good. Gently lower the hips down, bend the knees, let them stagger so you can come up, resting the ring against the floor and reaching that right arm over to stretch your right side. Good. Come back down, all the way down onto your arm this time, resting your head in your hand, placing the ring between the ankles. Left hand is on the floor for balance, and as a reminder, to tuck your belly button in to keep everything tight and strong there, or you can bring it to your hip or behind the head. From there, lifting both legs with control. Small but mighty movement here. Add a little squeeze to that ring if you want to make it more challenging. Good, lift and hold, then let it go. We'll lie now on our backs. Starting with the ring under the right leg. That right leg is going to stay straight, and you're resting the right leg on the ring, but we're not going to push into the ring, so keep that in mind. It's just resting there. Grab your band as well. We're going to bring it behind the back again. Place it under your shoulder blade so you can anchor it against the floor there. 
and we're holding the ends in the hands, making sure you have plenty of tension when you straighten your arms. So get the band nice and taut. Your arms are going to be out to your sides, bent slightly at the elbow, so they're not quite going to touch the ground when we get into starting position. You can lift them up high to make sure you have that tension and lower them wide. The left foot is on the floor near your hip, and as you inhale, lift the hips and the arms, then lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. The work is being done here by that left leg. So your hips are lifting equally, but you're not actively intentionally pushing into the right leg. We're giving the left side a little more to do here. Lifting the arms as you lift the hips and then lowering them wide, not quite letting them touch the floor. Good. Breathing as you go. And then rest the hips down, arms down. We'll set it up on the other side. Get the ring under the left leg now. Band back under the back. Right foot on the floor near the hips. Make sure you have tension in your band. Arms wide like you're going to hug a big beach ball. Then inhale, lift the hips and the arms. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keeping those arms open. Slight bend in the elbows as you lower down. Take care to breathe. Focus on keeping the hips level. Trusting the right leg to do that job for you. Good. And relax. You can take the band out from under you. Set it aside again. Hold on to your ring. And we're going to bring the ring against the right leg to start. We're moving into a version of the single leg stretch. So roll your chin up to your chest, lift the shoulders up, press the belly button down, get the right leg in the air, and holding the ring in place, we'll extend the left leg and then press the knee into the ring, switch sides. So we're doing two little pulses, squeeze, squeeze, extend and switch legs. So you're using your hands to hold the ring in place so that leg has to squeeze against the ring. And you're going to feel that in your core. Take care to squeeze the belly button down. Keep the low back connected to the mat. Still breathing. Don't forget about that extending leg. Really reach it like you're going to try to touch the wall. Good. Rest the head down. Rock your spine a little bit side to side. From there, we'll take the ring outside of the ankles, lifting the legs straight up above the hips. From there, we're going to squeeze the ring apart and release. So push your ankles out and then let them go. Press the legs out, let them go. And you'll start to feel that on the outer part of your upper leg. Flex your feet here. Keep breathing as you go. If you find it hard to hold your legs, in that position, you can always bring a pillow under your hips. That's going to help a little bit. Or you can hold your hamstrings a little with your hands. Good. Let that go. Reposition the ring now so it's inside your ankles. We're coming back to that same starting position, flexing the feet, and this time squeezing the ring and letting go. Squeezing, letting go. Getting the inner part of your leg. Breathe, focus on that movement, get as much squeeze as you can, and then relax. Take a couple of deep breaths, 
Grab your band again. We're going to need that. You can keep the ring right where it is between your ankles. We're going to move on to a version of the teaser. So again, if you're familiar with the advanced basics workout, we did do this in that workout. So holding the ring up above your hips between your ankles, you can or externally rotate your legs a little bit and put a little bit of a squeeze on that ring. Hold the band in your hands, make sure there's tension there at shoulder level, and then bringing the band behind your head will roll up the spine to a V shape, squeeze the, uh, the band wide, bring it back to center and roll down. So roll up with control, reaching your arms parallel to legs, Squeeze the arms wide, bring them back to center, and then roll down with control. Again, roll it up, reaching, spread the band wide, bring it back to center, roll it down. Roll it up, reach out for your legs, take the band wide, back in, and down. Good, one more, lift, good, take the arms wide, bring them center and lower down. Good, bend the knees again, let go of the band. You can take the ring away. We're done with the hard work, so bring your knees into your chest and rock a little bit side to side. Holding the right hamstring, tuck that knee toward your chest as you straighten the left leg out on the floor, or place the left foot on the floor with the knee up, whichever you find most comfortable. Let's rotate that right ankle a few times. Make sure you go each direction. And then as you exhale, slowly bring the forehead up toward the knee, squeezing the belly button down and just tucking into that little ball before bringing the head down and crossing the right ankle over the left leg. Holding the left leg now, hug that in to stretch the right hip. Let it go, keep the left knee in, placing the right foot on the floor or extending the right leg out along the floor. Rotate the left ankle. Both directions. Again on the exhale, squeeze the belly button down, forehead comes up toward the knee. Then rest the head down and cross the left leg over the right. Hold the right hamstring to hug that in and deepen the stretch for your hip. Let it go. Place your feet side by side, stretch your arms out. And we'll lower both knees down to one side. Getting that nice line twist for the spine, taking some deep breaths here. Coming back to center, we'll go the other way now. Back to center. And then stretch your arms overhead, legs out. 
reach both directions. And then we'll roll onto our bellies. Bring the elbows under the shoulders. Lifting the head up, lifting the heart forward as the shoulders draw back and down. Good, let that go. Bring the hands under the shoulders and press up through your push-up, through your plank position to come to a downward dog. Heart moving toward the knees, fingers spread wide. Feel that stretch moving up and down both sides of your body. Take a big step forward with the right leg coming into a high lunge, stretching the left ankle back, the left heel back. If you want, you can bring that left knee down now. Either way. Step back with the right foot. Return to downward dog. Then step forward with the left foot, coming back to high lunge, letting the hips really sink low so you can feel that stretch in the right leg. Heel presses back, and again, the option always to bring that right knee down to the floor. Step back with the left foot, coming to plank, and then downward dog. Letting the heels move toward the floor, even if they don't touch, they're going that direction. Mine don't touch always. Most days they don't. Every now and then they do. Good. Come forward to a plank. Back to a down dog. Forward to a plank. Back to a down dog. Forward to a plank. And back to a down dog. From there, start to walk your feet forward, then walk your hands to meet your feet somewhere in the middle. Flatten through your back and then fold again deeply. Walk your hands over to the right side of your feet. Then walk them around to the left side. Bring them back to the center. Fold again, head and shoulders relaxed. Then inhale, flatten the back and come all the way up to standing. Exhale the arms down and behind you, palms facing each other. Lace your fingers if you can and stretch that back. If your hands don't come together, that's okay. Just let them move in that direction. Shoulders above hips, above ankles, standing nice and tall. Let that go. With an inhale, bring the right arm up overhead and exhale, stretch to the side. Pausing for breath, really expanding in that right side of your body. We'll switch, same thing the other way. Take a deep breath in to lift up and then over. Back to center and down with the arm. Now both arms lift up as we rise up on the toes, finding your balance there to hold. Keep breathing. Exhale as you lower down. One more deep breath up. Heels are down on the ground. Exhale, arms to side, and we'll call it a day. Thank you for joining me.